Hello friends, in this video we will discuss how to brutally punish your opponent if your opponent try to play scholar's mate against you. Right, a scholar mate is a checkmate in 4 move and it starts with the e4, e5 and then white bring his queen out. Let's suppose black develop his knight, then bishop out and if black uh, try to attack the queen with the knight that's a huge blunder and you can see the engine it's a mate in 1. So this is the trap. And it's checkmate in just four moves. This is called scholar's mate. So in this video, we will discuss how to brutally punish white, I mean your opponent, if they try to play scholar's mate against you. Let's flip the board. So game starts with e4, black play e5, then queen comes out. At this point, white is threatening two things to take on this and preparing for the scholar's mate. So we should defend this with uh, our knight, right? That's a good move. Then bishop comes out and now it's a uh, mate in one thread, right? On f7 pawn. So we have to block the queen. g6 is the best move here. And please remember this. Whenever your opponent try to attack, I mean aggressive play, first you need to defend well, right? So we have defended well. Then queen might go to f3. Now again, there is a threat of mate in one, right? So we have to block the queen. We can also block the queen. I mean, we can also play some moves like queen to e7 or f6, right? But that's a passive move and that will block our bishop, I mean knight and bishop to develop. So the best move here is to block the queen with the knight. And you can see this knight is pinned by the queen. Now at this point, White has many ideas to remove this knight or to go for some attacking plans, right? These plans are like g4, playing g4 or uh, moving queen to, I mean, what is this called? b3 or some queens to c3, right? Some idea like c3, right? These are the ideas. So let's suppose if white plays g4. So you can see the engine, it's a blunder. It's a blunder because now black has a chance to attack on the queen at the same time with the c2 pawn and trying to create a fork here right so that's a good that's why it's a blunder by white but suppose if black didn't focus there and he plays some moves like g7 then you can see it's a inaccuracy i mean a mistake but if white play uh, g5 and if black move his knight that will be huge blunder because now the only defender was the uh, knight and moving knight is a huge blunder now it's a mate in one right so be remember this don't move this knight instead of moving this knight uh, black should try to attack the queen right in this way so queen is attack queen must i mean not just queen is under attack but the c2 pawn is also under attack so queen might go to d1 and if queen go to d1 we will take this free pawn with the knight and if white try to attack the knight can grab this free pawn if bishop takes this queens come out and look at this is already better for black minus nine right so this is a knight trap so when your opponent plays some moves like g4 instead of playing bishop to g7 we can directly attack I mean this is the original plan to attack on many cases right at the same time. So the best move is to play the knight d4. Now queen is under attack. Here two three possibilities for queen to move. Uh, one of the possibilities is to move to g3 and trying to create an attack on the e e5 pawn with a check and forking the knight. Also he can defend this pawn uh, with a move like d3 or c3 right. Uh, queen to c3 and queen to d3 these are the moves let's suppose white goes for uh, queen to g3 and if uh, if white goes for queen to g3 uh, black can easily grab this pawn i mean black can do anything but black can easily uh, grab this pawn let's suppose he grab there is a check then he win the rook right and if white give a check then black should defend the check i mean block the check with the queen and white will not take this pawn because taking this pawn will be a huge blunder because black can take this pawn attacking 
the rook the pawn the bishop there is a check there also right so there is a huge attack by black so uh, the white will not do that right so and it's already better for black minus 8 so queen to g3 is not a good move either right let's suppose queen goes for i mean d3 that's a good move right and if queen goes to d3 uh, you can see this is a free pawn and black can grab this but we are here to brutally punish white so we must uh, open the center i mean we are opening this bishop right so we, uh, we have played d5 then he will take the d5 and then bishop comes out and you can see the black pieces are more active i mean this is tremendously active this bishop can come over here attacking the queen right so this is a great move i mean great attacking plan and it's already better for black so queen to d3 is also not a good move what if queen goes for something like c3 then this knight can take on e4 again there is an attack on queen queen will move something like there then black can uh, give a support to the knight here right and this bishop can't take this because uh, queen can take and there is a dis i mean attack on the rook also right so instead of this white will try to play some knight out and if that then there is a, again attack on the queen queen has to go back and now this pawn is free i mean now black can easily grab this and create a fork and win the rook right so this is good queen c3 is not a great move i mean it's a blunder you can easily see it's minus 9 minus 10 right now the only option that remain is queen goes back to d1 and let's suppose he play this so that's also not a good move but it's okay okay now at this point this pawn is i mean free of black can grab but black wants to aggressive i mean brutally punish white so play d5 and then open this bishop right and then this bishop can attack the queen and if white takes this this uh, this queen i mean white queen is under attack now there are four possibilities to block the uh, i mean attack on queen like first one is this knight over here or knight on to f3 or pawn push or bishop back right these are the possibilities let's suppose he played knight that if he played knight then that will be a huge blunder because now it's a mate in two because there is a, a knight check then the bishop checkmate right so playing a knight to e2 is a blunder what if knight to f3 that's also a i mean blunder you can see the engine minus 13 because now bishop can take and there is and black is going to win the queen anyway black is going to win the queen right so white will most probably take the take the bishop with the queen then knight so the uh, i mean knight to f3 is also not a good move what if pawn push i mean it, it looks promising there is a attack right but now here black can play knight to e4 and this is a great gambit i mean great move because here uh, white has two options take the bishop or the knight and you can see uh, bishop is focusing on the queen i mean attacking the queen so white will most probably take the bishop and if he take the bishop that will be a huge blunder now it's a mate in two because there is a check incoming the only move now it's a mate right so taking bishop is a huge blunder right and if opponent saw the blunder then he might take the uh, i mean knight and if he take the knight uh, black can easily win the queen right but uh, by a great gambit first give the check he will move and then uh, grab the bishop i mean the queen by bishop so this is a good move and that's why f3 is not a uh, good move either right then the last option is bishop come back and let's suppose bishop goes back and now here black has two things i mean two possibilities either to take the bishop or first to take the pawn let's suppose he first go for the pawn then there is an attack i mean attack on the rook and if white grab the bishop then he can easily grab the rook so this is it right when queen takes on d5 but what if uh, black decide to exchange the bishop i mean he can do this and if he takes on the bishop then knight takes it and at this point 
black can grab this pawn and then there is an attack on the rook and a checkmate threat right so white has to castle and if white castle then there is a check he will move and then queen can come over here right so bishop takes is also not a good move so these are all traps if white plays g4 move right but what if white didn't go for g4 i mean white can also go for moves like queen b3 let's suppose he go for queen b3 that's also a huge blunder you can see the engine because in the next move black can attack the queen i mean you can easily attack the queen right and this pawn right and if white go for the check then only one check right and then uh, now there are two attacks here by black on the bishop and the queen queen must come back to defend both but that's the end because uh, now pawn push and this pawn is attacking the queen and defended by the uh, knight so queen has to move let's suppose queen give a check then take on the bishop and there is a attack on the queen as well let's suppose queen grab this then it did say blunder because now uh, this knight can come come to c2 and give a fork and win the rook easily right so that's why uh, queen to c5 maybe not the best move right that's why queen to b3 is not a good move i mean it's a blunder right then we have seen from here that uh, black moving his knight to d4 right and uh, white will play something like c3 i mean blocking the knight to come over here and if you first play this then black will simply uh, develop focus on the development and if he and if white open his bishop i mean this bishop right then now black can easily castle and if white goes for the pin like the knight pin then attack and if he again want to uh, keep the pin then that will be a mistake and it's already minus 2 you can see the engine now there is a attack by the pawn now he goes back at this point everything is fine white pieces are scrambled right a little bit scrambled and lost king is not safe this bishop is not doing anything only this bishop is active right black pieces are super active super delicious king is safe rook coming over queen this bishop can easily be developed right at this point black can go for the center break and opening this bishop right now here uh, white can take this and if white take this there is a threat of bishop to g4 attacking on the queen queen will move to e3 right now and now here uh, black has an amazing move i mean black this knight can take on d5 and there is a attack on the queen right now there are two options for white here is to go back either to go back to d2 or take on this uh, knight and if he take on he will be a piece down right let's suppose he go back to d2 if he go back to d2 then uh, black can go for knight to f4 i mean this bishop can be exchanged and now look at this uh, this uh, rook coming over here this bishop is active this bishop is also active this knight is active this queen is active i mean every piece is active black but white pieces are scrambled i mean white pieces don't know what to do right so this is what happened when white play queen to d2 but let's suppose white goes for taking the knight on d on d5 then queen takes it and at this point all looks great but black is attacking on this pawn and threatening to take the uh, what is called this uh, the rook right so white will move his knight and then pawn push by black and if white threaten to take on this knight there is a fork now he will go go down then this bishop can take on then queen will take then queen exchange then bishop take pawn take and now uh, black black is a piece up here right and his rooks his rooks are amazing this rook can easily come over here and join the line this bishop and white pieces are just doing nothing right and it's already minus eight for black 
so this is what uh, black can do if black if white uh, takes the bishop takes d5 knight with the bishop right so these are all traps in this move order right when uh, white plays c3 moves so what is the best move for white here white can focus on the development i mean knight to e2 and black also focus on the development and then he will most probably play d3 i mean the opening up the bishop right at this point black can make a threat i mean a trap by castling if he castle let's suppose bishop come over here then attack and if he still wants to keep the pin then that's a blunder he will have to go back and at this point uh, black can strike the center and if he take this now look at the beautiful move here this queen can be attacked by our bishop right and the only square for this queen is e3 right and this knight can this knight is under attack uh, so this knight can also come over here and uh, attack the c2 pawn let's suppose uh, black decide to go for b4 knight b4 there is a attack on this pawn black most probably bring his bishop back and then um, Bla uh, black can grab this pawn and he's not just grabbing this pawn he's actually uh, capture this square the only square which which is left for the uh, queen right and if uh, white decide to take it then he will simply be a piece down right so suppose he didn't take this and go for something move like h3 and and stopping our bishop to come over here but we have already our pawn i mean black pawn this pawn can go he will take this and then and now this queen is trapped i mean white white won this queen right easily so knight b4 has this trap what if uh, black decide to attack i mean instantly attack with this then uh, white to go for e3 right then our knight i mean this knight can jump he will take then our pawn take and if uh, white queen takes the pawn right that will be a blunder i mean a huge blunder because now uh, rook can give a check white has two options to move here or here let's suppose he move here then knight check this knight is giving check plus this is threatening to take the queen so most probably uh, white will take the bishop i mean the knight with the queen then rook takes then this take then our bishop is going to win the rook on the next move right so this is all good for black i mean it's already minus six right for black so queen to d2 has this problem but what if white decide to go for queen to f1 i mean that's cool looking cool right but now black can give again a check now white has two options these two let's suppose he go for e1 and if he go for e1 then this uh, uh, knight can take on this pawn and there is a attack on this right so most probably uh, i mean queen will take the knight then there is a discovered check right on the king king has to go back and now uh, black won the queen easily right so this is all if uh, queen goes to e1 right but what if uh, but what if white king goes to g1 then black can give a, a discovered attack i mean on this uh, queen queen has to go back and if queen goes back now this bishop can come over here and take the uh, rook on the next move threatening to take the rook on the next move and if white try to play some moves like bishop taking on and winning the queen then queen can easily come to f6 and now there is no one can stop the uh, bishop taking rook right suppose he play c3 rook is taken right so these are all traps and you can see black is easily minus 8 here right so these are all traps i mean opening traps if white try to play scholar's mate against black i hope you have learned something new here Thank you.